a very good evening uh, to all uh, dear brothers in christ so last few weeks uh, we've been studying about the human soul and last week we studied about the hell we clearly saw from the scripture that the hell is not a place of torment that hell is a place of burial the grave uh, is called as the uh, hell in the bible and that has been translated in various uh, different ways in the bible we saw the word sheol we saw the word hades we saw the word gehenna we saw the word tartaro what all it means and uh, you see and we clearly uh, uh, identified the real meaning of the word hell so the general question that next comes to our mind is then and what is the judgment uh, you see then uh, if there is no hell then uh, what is the judgment uh, that we read in the bible so today we are going to take some time and study about the judgment uh, what does the bible say about the judgment uh, dear brethren you see uh, everybody you see are waiting for the judgment day you see that jesus is going to come you see at the second coming he is going to come upon white clouds you see, you see he is going to come with his army you see huh? and uh, he is going to you see come uh, upon the horses uh, and as uh, he is going to come all the dead who are in the grave you see they shall uh, come back to life you see so then uh, all the dead who come back to life uh, they will be judged uh, you see uh, as per the things that are written dear brethren so it will be a very fearful day you see all the graves will be open all uh, you see uh, who see jesus uh, shall lament even those who pierced him you see shall see him with their eyes and uh, they shall lament you see because why jesus is come to just the whole world so all the dead you see all the dead will come back to life and they will all stand in a queue you see in the front of the great white throne you see that is mentioned in revelation 20th chapter so what will happen you see there the books will be opened and jesus will open you see a <coughs> book of life also and jesus will be sitting on the great uh, you see a uh, white throne you see and uh, jesus i uh, will call each and every person of this world uh, everybody will be trembling oh jesus is coming to judge us uh, and uh, as per their deeds that are written in the book uh, they will be judged uh, if they committed sin you see if they have done things which are wrong in god's sight as per against the law you see they will be judged uh, and they will be thrown into hell fire where they will be tortured day and night day and night without any relief you see so they will be huh? <clears throat> in agony in pain they will be weeping and gnashing of teeth even after pleading also they won't be any escape from that fire so that is you see the judgment that is going to happen and you see also huh, the good people for the good deeds you see they will also be judged if there is any person who has done good deeds you see in the name of christ or oh, they shall be rewarded with a very wonderful reward and what is the reward you see dear brethren that reward you see shall be based upon the works which they did now if they did you see good works now you see humble you see very good kind <coughs> you see they shall be you see huh, uh, taken uh, by the angels to where to the heaven where they will join the holy angels uh, you see singing praises to god so dear brethren this is uh, the idea about judgment uh, so judgment will happen like this uh, so hell and heaven okay now imagine as soon as a man dies uh, uh, already one judgment would have happened no you see as soon as a man dies what happens uh, immediately his soul comes out of his body you see and uh, his soul you see he escapes out of his body and what will happen now uh, uh, already it would have gone uh, and stood uh, before the uh, throne of christ uh, and received the punishment uh, you see received the judgment uh, you you see if it is a a uh, good person a good soul you see you would have gone to heaven if it is bad soul then surely it would have gone to hell 
they would then see already you see as soon as a man dies uh, the judgment uh, has happened no then why again no? one more judgment uh, at the second coming uh, why why there are two judgments uh, you see so uh, this is based upon a few scriptures uh, so let us read those scriptures also and uh, continue in our study read hebrews 927 hebrews 927 <laughs> it is appointed for men to die once but after this the judgment hebrews 927 very good brother it is appointed for a man to die once after this judgment so it's very clear brother it is appointed for a man to die after that there is judgment so everybody tells the brother after that there is a judgment very clear verse is there okay okay let us consider that after a man dies there is judgment that means this should have happened for all the dead no all the dead people let it be whoever it is let it be at any time any point of time they would have lived that means all the dead dead should have been judged by now so who is the great judge it is none of you know, not jesus christ we know very well so if jesus is the judge then judgment for the dead should have already taken place correct now as per the scripture so let us see what jesus says in matthew 11:24 matthew 11:24 uh, emmanuel brother can you read matthew 11:24 Matthew eleven twenty four. Ah, but I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. See, it, I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. That means here Jesus himself is telling that uh, Sodom and Gomorrah have not passed the judgment. He is speaking of a future event. You shall be more tolerable in the day of judgment. Then, if Sodom and Gomorrah, who are the worst of all the people, if the judgment is not happened to them, you see, then when? You see, and moreover, Lazarus was dead. Three days he was in the grave. Jesus called him. You see, and uh, did Lazarus come and tell about any testimony about judgment? You see, the great white throne. You see, opening the books, any judgment about going in hell and heaven? No, we don't find anything, sir. Then what is the meaning of this Hebrews 9, chapter 27th verse? Dear brethren, we have seen in the first class how to study the Bible. Whenever we have any doubts, any clarification, any question from the Bible, we need to search and seek the answers only from the Bible itself. Dear brethren, so for this one, we need to study the Bible. See, always when you have any question, we need to read the verses a little bit above, below to come to understanding. Now, first of all, Hebrews 9.27 is speaking about to whom we should understand. It is not speaking about an ordinary man. Here it is speaking about the great high priest who was going to into the most holy place once a year to offer sacrifices to God. You see. So let us read that verse. You see. Kindly read. Uh, Binod brother. If you can read. Hebrews 9 chapter. Verse 24. Read from verse 24 brother. Uh, okay sir. I will read. Uh, Hebrew 9. 24. From verse 24. Yes. Hebrew 9. Uh, 24. 24. Okay. Hebrew 9, 24, yes. For, uh, okay, I will read. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hand, which are the figure of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in presence of God for us. 25, nor yet that he should offer himself often as the high priest entered into the holy place every year with blood of others. Ah, For here you see Jesus is compared to a high priest. High priest was entering to the most holy place once a year with the blood. You see, and whenever he used to enter into the most holy place into the Shekinah glory, 
to offer the blood, he had to be very holy. Not even a single bad thought has to be encouraged in his mind. If so, then what would happen? Immediately, he will die on the spot. So, if the high priest dies, then how to take out his body? Because apart from the high priest, none of the other persons were allowed to go into the most holy. And that only once a year. Hence, they used to tie a rope to the waist, you see, of the high priest and allow him to go inside. So, in case if he dies, if he doesn't come, then they would be able to pull the body out. So, it was like as if, you see, the high priest was appointed to death. It was as if like a dying situation. He may come or may not come. You see, therefore, dear Budran, this is actually telling about the high priest. You see, as high priest entered into the most holy once a year, similarly Jesus entered into the heaven itself, into the presence of God once for all. He finished everything. Now continue, brother. From where you stopped, brother, please continue from there, brother. Okay, sir, I will read. Uh, 20, uh, 20, 25, not 25, 26. Uh, for, uh, for then must be often have suffered since the foundations of the world, but now once in the end of the world had he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. Ah, sacrifice of himself. As I pray sacrifice, here Jesus sacrificed himself, it seems. Next, brother. Huh. 27. Uh, uh, and as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment. Hmm. So Christ was once offered to bear the sin hmm. of many, and hmm. unto them that look for him, Said he appear the second time without sin ah, unto see men. the same context is continuing and saying the huh? same way Jesus as it was appointed for a man to die then judgment you see even so Jesus also died for us see it's very clearly it is showing the comparison. You see, of the high priest to Jesus, it is never speaking about a ordinary human being. And moreover, you see, the Bible speaks about second death. You see, that one uh, we have uh, uh, already informed you. In short, the Bible speaks about second death also. For human beings, it's second death also. It is not that the man is appointed only once to die. Some people die twice also, dear brethren. Hence, this verse, that as soon as a man dies, the judgment takes place uh, is is uh, is not to be interpreted in a wrong way. Okay, now then, when does the judgment take place? Sir? You see, huh? What does the Bible say? Huh? Moreover, you see, if a judgment should take place, the person should rise from the dead now. When they are all in the grave, how come the judgment will happen? You see, when will the dead uh, come back to life? What does the Bible say? Let us read 1 Thessalonians 4.16. 1 Thessalonians 4.16. Uh, Peter, brother, can you read? Are you able to read 1 Thessalonians 4.16? Okay. Uh, Saiju, brother, can you read? Uh, yes, brother. Uh, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ shall rise first. When Jesus comes, then only the dead will rise. If the dead only will rise at the second coming, where will the judgment happen before the second coming? Therefore, judgment actually happens at the second coming, not before that one. See what Jesus says. Matthew 16.27. Sergei Buddha, please read Matthew 16.27 also. Oh, 
for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels and then he shall reward every man according to his works you see when son of man shall come he shall reward every man according to his works not before that one not as soon as a man dies okay now judgment is what eh? judgment is a separation of a saint and sinners you see the good people and the bad people correct no that is a judgment all the good people will go to heaven all the bad people will go to hell okay let us assume like that only okay now uh, read one verse first corinthians 62 stephen brother can you read first corinthians 62 brother First Corinthians six two. Uh, got it, brother. Okay. Uh, can somebody else read First Corinthians six two? Emmanuel, brother. Hmm. Shaiji, brother. Do a not First uh, Corinthians six two, no? Six two, six two. Okay. Do a not know that the saints shall judge the world, and Very if good. if the world shall be judged by you. are ye worth to judge the smallest matters ah the saints shall judge the world it seems now who are the judges we ask for the scripture it is not only jesus but the church along with jesus are going to judge the entire world now tell me the entire world is it uh, holy are the entire world good people or bad people except christians the entire world is it good or is it bad people are there good people or bad people tell me any 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 answer bad people bad people only of course you see that's what the bible also says you see ha huh? read romans 310 romans 310 emmanuel brother can you read romans 310 Three ten, as it is written, there is none righteous, none, no, not one. Ah, there is none righteous, no, not one, not even one person are righteous. Then the entire world standing before Jesus, throne, they are all sinners only. There is none righteous, not even one good people. Then why judgment? Huh? Why should they be called and informed about their sin? lumsum at a time they can be sent to punishment no why this judgment is required individually call them and punish them dear brethren you see all are sinners then why the judgment is required apostle paul knows that the whole world is under sin there is none righteous then doesn't jesus know that there is none righteous sin in the world jesus should be knowing it then what is the meaning of judgment therefore we need to study from the bible actually the word judgment is from the greek word krino in english it means crisis crisis means what you see crisis means it can be this way or that way a very you see uh, uh, important uh, point like for example if a patient is in icu what will the doctor say doctor what will happen to the patient what will happen we can't tell anything it can be this way or that way see that is the meaning of a word crisis and you see this this word judgment or crisis is actually composed of two things one is a trial and a decision based on the trial like for example you see there are so many culprits were caught red handed you see kasab was caught red handed you see 
But even then, everybody knew it. It was lively telecasted. What all he did, you see, it was caught on the CC camera. But at, as soon as he was caught, did the government hang him to death? No. They had a trial. Based on the trial only, these culprits were hanged. A judgment was passed to hang them to death. Dear brethren, so similarly, you see, judgment, you see, in the Bible is always composed of two things. First is a trial, then based on the trial, a decision. This is what happened exactly in the Garden of Eden. God had put our first parents on trial in the Garden of Eden, forbidding them to eat our fruit. In case if they eat the fruit, they would surely die. You see, but what happened? As soon as Adam, you see, and Eve, ate the fruit, the trial ended there. The trial was given. They failed in the trial. You see, the trial ended. God pronounced the judgment. They were cast out of the Garden of Eden. You see, and they were condemned. The dying, thou shall die. You see, cursed is the ground for thy sake. You see, so that was the first judgment of God. He did not immediately pronounce his uh, decision immediately, dear brethren. So, there was a trial. Based on the trial, there was a decision. So, each and every pain, each and every sorrow, each and every death, each and every grave in this world is a witness that we are all under the first judgment. This judgment came through Adam. It did not come to us individually. God did not judge us individually, but we were collectively judged through Adam. You see, huh? in Adam all die. Bible says, no, Adam was the one who ate the forbidden fruit. What happened? At death, the penalty passed upon us. Because we are all dying in Adam. So let us read Jeremiah 31.29. Jeremiah 31.29 and Romans 5.12. Uh, Stephen, brother, uh, hope you are able to read Jeremiah 31 29. Okay. Uh, Binod brother, can you read Jeremiah 31 29? Jeremiah 31 29, brother. Okay, Jeremiah 30. First chapter, 29th verse. First chapter. 31st oh. chapter, brother. Oh, 31st. You can even read from the screen also. One minute, I got it. 31st chapter, yes. 31st, 29, right? Hmm. Okay. In those days, they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Mm. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Mm. Every man that eats of the sour grape, mm. his teeth shall be set on edge. Ah, see? Here it clearly says, you see, the fathers have eaten the sour grape. The children's teeth are set on edge. Father was the father Adam who ate the forbidden fruit. But what happened? We are all put under, you see, penalty. We are all put under the same decision of dying. Hence, this judgment came upon every human being through Adam. Romans 5.12. Emmanuel Buddha, can you read Romans 5.12? Romans 5.12. Romans 5.12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and the death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for, what, for that all have sinned. Very good, brother. So, death entered into the world through sin. And that was because of one man's sin. Sin entered through sin, death entered. And this death was passed upon everybody. 
because God knew that as Adam has sinned, everybody will sin. So everybody will condemn to this uh, judgment. So we are all under that first judgment uh, itself, dying daily. Okay. Now Bible says that there is going to be one more judgment day at the second coming of Jesus. Okay. Let us read that verse, Acts 17.31. Uh, Vinod brother, can you read Acts 17.31 brother? Okay, sir. Acts 17, 31. Because he had appointed a day in, in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained, whereof he had given assurance unto all men in that he had raised him from the Dead. Ah, Dead. you see, he has fixed a day, means he will judge the whole world. You see, day means what? Uh, one day means 24 hours. Huh? Uh, 24 hours, the whole world can be judged. Huh? No, you tell me, for Jesus, one day means how many years? Thousand years. Very good. So, <laughs> thousand years. So, year one day, the day of judgment means not literally one year. Jesus is going to judge the whole world for a thousand years. See, in the Bible, day always never means 24 hours a day. Like, for example, the Bible says, uh, during the days of Noah. During the days of Noah means what? Uh, was it literally 24 hours? No. It was the period in which, Jesus, sorry, in which Noah lived. So, similarly, the Bible also says, the days of the Son of Man. That means what? Uh, the days when Jesus is going to return to this earth, and rule on this earth. That period of thousand years is compared to a day in the Bible, not 24 hours. Okay. Now, in this thousand years day, how the judgment will be? In the same verse, Acts 17.31, it is written, He shall judge the world in righteousness. Righteousness means what? Not in a unrighteous manner, unjust manner. It will be very, very clear and the just judgment it seems. Now you tell me, you see, for our sins, you see, huh? who was bruised? Who received all our chastisement? Who received all our punishment? You tell me, who received? Huh? Let us read. Yes. Mm. Let us read Isaiah 53.5. Isaiah 53.5. Saiji Budar, can you read Isaiah 53.5? Yes, brother. Read from the screen. I say fifty-three five. Hmm. But he was wounded for our transgressions; he was buried, bruised for our iniquities. That. Chastisement for of our peace was upon him, and with the, his stripes we are healed. Ah, you see, our transgression, he was wounded. He was bruised for our iniquity. Chastisement was given, you see, that was liable for us. It was given to Jesus. You see, huh? all the stripes which we were to take, who took? Jesus took. Now you imagine all the punishment which we were to, supposed to take. Who took it for us? Jesus. Now again come and give the same punishment to us. Is it just example? I have already many times told you this example. Again I will repeat it also. Imagine if you are there in the Middle East or Dubai country. If there is any you see, mistake that we committed, they will give the judgment there itself. They will give 50 lashes it seems. Imagine 50 lashes will be so severe that only for a few lashes only we will start uh, shivering. Huh? Imagine at that time, if you are not able to take the 50 lashes, but instead of us, uh, if Brother Emmanuel or Brother uh, Peter uh, or Brother Stephen comes forward and takes uh, that penalty which was uh, supposed to come to me, instead of that one, if they take, what should the, the uh, judge do? The judge should release me. Because my punishment was taken by the brothers. So I should be set free. 
But instead of that one calling me again and telling me the same mistake and again punishing me for the same mistake, is it correct? No, it is not at all correct. Hence, the judgment, what Jesus is going to do at the second advent is never for our past sin. Why? Because for all the sins, Jesus has already paid it. So, Jesus, you see, is going to do the judgment not to condemn the world. No, 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 not to insult them, not to condemn that you are sinners, you are committed sin like this. No, 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 no. See what the Bible says. John 3.13. John 3.13. Uh, Emmanuel, brother, can you read John 3.13? John 3.13 or 17 rule? John 3.13? 3, 17. Sorry. Sorry, brother. For the God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Ah, not to condemn the world, but the world through Jesus might be saved. Okay. Now, Jesus, when he is going to come at the second advent, he is going to rule on this earth for a thousand years. We all know very well. We have studied in detail about that one. And all the dead, you see, who are all gone into a grave, will again be resurrected and brought back to life on the same earth. And Jesus, the first thing he is going to do is find the devil. So that he may not deceive the nations anymore as he is today deceiving the entire nation. Entire world is being deceived. Correct now? So, in thousand years, the first thing Jesus is going to do is bound Satan for a thousand years. Read Revelation chapter 20, verses 1, 2 and 3. Uh, Stephen, brother, can you read? I'm reading from the screen, brother. Please. Revelation 20, 1 to 3. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more. Ah. This thousand years should be fulfilled. Yes. Till the thousand years are fulfilled, he is bound so that he may not deceive the nations anymore. Why? Because that is what the devil is doing today, no? You see, Second Corinthians 4, 4, the God of this world has blinded the eyes of many. Hence, if you go and teach to many of the people, they won't listen. Why? The Satan has blinded them. How can you teach a blind person? How can you tell a blind person to walk properly? To see and go. They are not able to see. So as Jesus is going to first open their eyes. When? Second coming is going to bind the devil and open everybody's eyes. Then what will happen? You know, the people of this world will learn the scriptures. You see, during the judgment day, they will all learn righteousness. What is right as per the Bible? What is correct as per the Bible? What should not be done as per the Bible? What should be done as per the Bible? Everything will be taught to the whole world from the scriptures. Read Isaiah 26, 9. Uh, Binod Budar, can you read Isaiah 26, 9? Okay, sir. I will read Isaiah 26, 9. Uh, with my soul, uh, soul, have I desired this in the, in the night? Yeah, with my spirit within me, will I... I seek thee early, for when thy judgment are in the earth, the inhabitant of the world will learn righteousness. Yes, when the judgments are on the earth underline, the people will learn righteousness. If they are sent to hell and heaven, they will learn righteousness. There is an opportunity to learn, repent. Learning will be there, dear brethren, during the judgment. Hence, you know what will happen, how the learning will happen. Their eyes 
their ears of understanding will be open scriptures will be very clear to them read isaiah 29 chapter 18th verse and isaiah 29 24 uh, shaji brother can you read isaiah 29 18 and 24 and in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness okay 24th verse brother they also that heard in spirit shall come to understanding and they that murmured shall learn doctrine ah in that day the deaf shall hear the words of the book who oh, the deaf huh? not the literal deaf huh? you see those who have ears even they are not able to understand the scriptures even after teaching so much things clearly from the bible they are not able to understand it they are not able to see the scriptures when satan is bound when he is there no more to deceive the people definitely what will happen na you see the deaf will hear you see the blind will see the bible and what all mistakes they did from the scriptures uh, you see uh, some uh, still believe that oh soul doesn't die there is hell you see they will all learn the truth when in the thousand years to brother and uh, you see hence uh, jesus is given a thousand years to judgment was uh, what is the meaning of judgment uh? to bring back the dead people back to life back to perfection in which in which adam was created slowly bring them back you see to bring them back from that you see sinful condition to the perfect condition thousand years is required hence jesus is given a thousand years yeah. you see you know ha huh? it will be the same way as it was in the garden of eden you see the first judgment and the second judgment what happened in the garden of eden you see it will be very similar you see but only one thing there will be difference what is that one you see ha huh? you know what is that one ha huh? in eden adam was perfect so in the thousand years every man will be brought to the perfection in eden god demanded obedience so similarly in the thousand years god will simply demand only one thing obedience and in eden the reward that was promised was life so in, similarly in christ kingdom the reward that was is going to be promised is life in garden of eden the judgment had a beginning and end similarly in thousand years it is going to be a beginning and end hence thousand years is fixed beginning and end the only difference between you see the first judgment and the judgment in the thousand years dear brethren is experience adam sinned because he did not have experience in the thousand years each and every man will be having experience hence they won't sin dear brethren each and every resurrected person who come back to life will be given at least a minimum opportunity of 100 years means a minimum opportunity of 100 years to repent once they are rejected even if they don't repent in 100 years that is a sign that even if 1000 years be given they won't repent so these people will be cut off in second death so this is how in god's kingdom everybody will come to righteousness when the judgment are there on the earth, the people will learn righteousness read isaiah 6520 isaiah 6520 there shall be no more there shall be no more thence an infant of days nor an old man that hath not filled his days for the child for the child shall die an hundred years old but the sinner being in 100 years old shall be a cursed ah you see there shall be no more infant of days in the christ kingdom no nobody will die like a small infant born two days three days you see and uh, there won't be any old man who's not filled his days that means what uh, there will be no old man will be just dying at uh, 60 70 80 no you see that means what uh, in christ kingdom they will not die like a small baby neither will they die 
in a eh, old age. Yeah? That means age is fixed. They won't die too soon, too late also. That means age is fixed in Christ's kingdom. What is that age? It says, the child that dies uh, under years old shall be a sinner. That means the minimum age for one to die in Christ's kingdom is 100 years. Minimum 100 years they will live in Christ's kingdom. You see, and those who die in 100 years, they will be accursed. That means uh, they will be such as sinners that even after God giving them the opportunity, they won't repent at all. Hence, uh, this will be going to second death. And this judgment itself, God is beautifully pictured in Matthew 25th chapter, verse 32 and 33. Entire, you see, Matthew 25, 32 till the end, is actually speaking about the judgment only. Okay? Now let us read a few verses, sir. Matthew 25, 32 to 33. Uh, Emmanuel, brother, can you read? Matthew chapter 25, verse 32 and 33. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divide his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Ah, see, Jesus will uh, gather all the nations before him, you see, and separate the people as he separates the goat and sheep, you see. So, here uh, again, if you continue reading, it says Matthew 25, chapter. Uh, 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 when I was sick, uh, you came and, uh, you see, healed me. When I was in prison, you came and visited me. Uh, when I was a stranger, you came and helped me. When I was hungry, uh, you came and gave me water. When I was uh, hungry, you came and gave me food. When I was thirsty, you came and gave me water. You see, these uh, scriptures we would have heard uh, several times in many of the, you see, sermons. Uh, you see, many people think uh, that... Uh, Oh, this is to be done now, you see. Because Jesus said, whatever you do to the least of these people, it is like doing to Christ. Hence, based on the scripture only, so many people do all sorts of hospitality work. You see, uh, NGOs, you see, helping each other, home for the age, you see, huh? hospitals, uh, you see, jail ministry, you see, huh? and lending for the poor, uh, you see. Correct, huh? this is all based upon the scripture. No, actually, when will this happen? Correct, no, that is very important. No, huh? let us read verse 31, brother. When will this happen, brother? Please read the verse 31 also, brother. 31 hmm. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Ah, when will this happen? Not now. When the Son of Man shall come again in his glory. At the return of Jesus, at the second advent of Jesus, then only this will happen, not now. This won't happen now, dear brethren. It will happen only at the second advent of Jesus. You see, then only these things has to be done. Not now. Did Jesus do any of these things? Tell me one of these things Jesus has done. No, dear brethren. So, then the whole world will be gathered before him as goat and sheep. That means what? Uh, two class of people will be there before him. Once the truth reaches out, uh, the people have to change themselves. 100 years, remember, the minimum age will be given. So what they have to do in 100 years? At least show some changes. Uh, and uh, develop that sheep-like character. Or if they develop that goat-like character, not helping others, not having mercy and grace upon others, uh, what will happen? Uh, they will go to second death. Uh, you see, that's what, what, uh, what is the uh, scripture says. Uh, I was... Uh, you see, huh? I was uh, thirsty, I was hungry, huh? I was without cloths, means what? It is not, not literal. Hungry and thirsty means uh, spiritual food. Cloth means what? I was without the robe of righteousness. Many people who are dead, who come back to life, they don't know nothing about Jesus. Go and tell about Jesus. Give them the robe of righteousness. Tell Jesus is the King of Kings. Jesus is the Lord of Lords. You see, I was in prison, prison house of death. You see, pray for them that they may also come in the resurrection. This is the sheep class, sheep quality. And what will be the reward for the sheep? What will be the reward for the goat? Everybody thinks that they will go to hell and heaven. No, no, no. Read verse 34. What is the reward? Uh, Binar Buddha, read verse 34. Matthew 25, 34. Read what the Bible says. 
ओके सर मथी ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर ओनली ओके देन किंग से ऑन टू देम ऑन हिज राइट हैंड कम ए ब्लेस ऑफ माय फादर इनहेरिट द किंगडम प्रिपेयर for you from the foundations of the world ah and you see come those on the right hand the sheep class come to heaven no no inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world what jesus started us to pray our father which art in heaven hallowed be the name thy kingdom come that kingdom which will be established and that shall be given to this people so they all won't go to heaven this is the earthly salvation you see so One people who develop these good qualities on this earth, they should be given the earthly salvation. So, what about the wicked, the good class? Read verse forty-one, uh, brother. Read verse forty-one also, brother. Okay, sir. Forty-one uh, also. Matthew twenty-one forty-one. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand. Depart from me, a crossed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Ah, see where they will go? They will go to everlasting fire, prepared for whom? The devil and the angels. You know what is this everlasting fire? Everybody will think, oh, some lake of fire. The answer is given in the Bible itself. Where is it given? Read Revelation twenty verse fourteen. Revelation chapter twenty verse fourteen, brother. Ah. Okay, Revelation twenty four, fourteen, and they and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. See, the lake of fire means second death, utter destruction. They shall be destroyed utterly from the presence of God. Dear brethren, therefore, you see, judgment is not for the past sins. You see. they will be given the first original opportunity to turn back to god when satan is bound the rise in years of understanding are opened then only they will give you given the opportunity to turn to god and repent then even if then they don't repent they will go to you see everlasting punishment second death now let us read revelation chapter 20 verse 12 uh, sahiji brother can you read revelation 20 verse 12 and i saw the dead small and great stand before god and the books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged out things which were written in the books according to their works very good brother so based on this scripture, uh, scripture only many people think that uh, this is jesus uh, uh, before jesus the dead the small and great will be all dead will come back to life Stand before his throne. Books will be opened. They will be judged according to his works. Okay. Now let us understand this verse. Okay. Now who is this dead? Da? Huh? Great and small. Now what is this white throne? You see, the throne means actually you see, huh? That uh, authority, that seat of authority. Correct? No, the seat of authority, the seat of power. So the white always in the Bible means purity. that means jesus is the judge who is going to judge the whole world in righteousness now who are the dead the small and great you see uh, this is not literally small and great uh, in tall in age no 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 this is not uh, speaking about the age you see this is speaking about the humble and the proud if somebody you see a great person is coming what do we tell oh a rich person is coming. oh great person is coming A very poor person is coming. We say is very small, got nothing. So each and every person, he may be very great or nothing. Everyone shall be judged. How? How is the people judged? Everybody think that uh, uh, they will be judged upon based upon the book uh, that is written, uh, book of life. They open book of life, then will be judged. No, no. Read that verse again. From what they will be judged? Read that verse again. Shall you brother? How will the judgment will happen? Huh? Revelation twenty verse twelve. Ah, uh, verse. 
करेक्ट वर्ष ट्वेल्व वन सेकेंड है हाँ ओके ब्रदर ट्वेंटी वर्स ट्वेल्व वाला करेक्ट एंड आई सो द डेट स्मॉल एंड ग्रेट स्टैंड बिफोर गोड एंड द बुक्स वर ओपन वेट ब्रदर यर इट सेस बुक्स वर ओपन नेक्स्ट ब्रदर हाँ and another book was opened another book was opened so there are books and book make the difference not uh, everything is the same you see books are different and book is also different another book were opened uh, which is the book of life underline it for book the name is given as book of life for bar but for books no name is given now which is this books and which is this book you see so here it says the books will be open and uh, book of life will be open okay now people will be just based upon what everybody think that it will be based upon the book of life no continue reading that verse brother how will the people be just continue brother and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, books according to not in the book people were just based upon the books not based upon the book of life so there is a difference now which is this books that is closed today you know which is this books this is the 66 books of the bible this is closed many of the christians themselves don't know jesus said seal this book you see revelation 5th chapter you see the scroll was in his hands with seven seals nobody could see the scroll open and break it the bible is a sealed book somebody please read isaiah 29 chapter 11 and 12 immanuel brother can you read isaiah 29 11 and 12 sage brother you stay there only we'll continue with the same verse isaiah 29 11 and 12 hmm. and the vision of all is became on Unto you, as the words of the book is sealed. Ah, underline the book sealed. Continue. Ah, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, "Read this, I pray thee." Hmm. And he said, "I cannot, for it it is sealed." It is sealed. If you go and give it to a theologian who studied theology so many years, ah, huh? how to run the church? If they go and tell many questions on the Bible, they tell, ah, "We can't because it's sealed. Oh, secret. Nobody knows. Only God knows. So we don't know." Simply tell no, you don't know. Why? You can't tell no. So blame it on God. The sealed book. That's what the Bible says. Sealed book. The learned cannot understand. Then continue. Ah. Huh. And the book is delivered to him that it is that is not learned, saying, "Read this. I pray thee." And he said, "I am not learned." See, <laughs> if you go and give it to unlearned, it doesn't understand because it doesn't have all his prayed. The Bible is a sealed book. It is understood only by God's grace, God's Holy Spirit. Okay, so this is the books that is going to be opened in the thousand years. When Satan is be bound, the Bible will be clearly understood by each and everybody. Okay, now which is this book of life in which all the names are written? Remember Moses. What did he pray to God? What did he request to God? God, please remove my name from the book of life. Apostle Paul also said, "No, book of life. You see, book of life means what? The names are written in the book of life. Correct, no? Read Exodus thirty-two, thirty-two, brother. Exodus thirty-two, thirty-two. So somebody can read. If somebody can open it quickly. Exodus thirty-two, thirty-two. Anybody?" Exodus, Exodus, thirty-two, thirty-two. Yet now, if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book, which thou hast hast written. You see, remove my name, blot out my name from the book which thou hast written from the book of life. Now, what is this book of life? Everybody thinks so. God has kept a little book where is written everybody's name. Blot out my name is uh, God will scratch out that uh, name literally in the book. 
a little book. We all maintain book. Why do we maintain book? Because we don't have so much of memory. So to retain our memory, we write everything and keep it in the book. Now God, now our Almighty God, who is neither uh, sleeping nor slumbering, does he need a book, literal book to write everything? His mind itself is so sufficient. He remembers everything. Not literal book is required for him at all. Then what is his book of life? Book of life actually means God's mind. You know, therefore Moses was praying, God, if it is possible, please remove my name from your mind. That is the book of life. You see, who all has to live, who all has to die, who all has to get life, that list, where is there? It is in God's mind. It is not a literal book. Read it's given in the Bible only. Malachi 3.16. Malachi 316. Uh, Emmanuel Buddha, please read Malachi 316. Malachi 316. Uh. And they that feared the Lord speak often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him and for life. them. Book of remembrance. That is the book of life. Book of remembrance. It is his mind. Who has to come to life? Who has to live? Who has to die? That decision is in his mind. That is the book of life. Therefore, they are not just as per this book of life. It says, books were opened as per the books. The deeds which I did as per the books, they were judged. But that book was kept open because that was the list of who all has to live. So this is not speaking about literal judgment. God is going to judge each and every person as per the word of God. They will be taught the word of God in thousand years. They have to work as per the work of God. If they are not working as per the work of God, then they will all go to second death. Therefore, dear brethren, what all evil deeds which somebody does now it has got something effect upon their character. You see, no one takes anything when they die. The only thing a man takes when he dies is his experience and his character. When he comes back in the resurrection, he'll be having the same experience and same character. So if you are going in an evil way now, it is destroying your character and gaining wrong experience. If you are doing good, then we are gaining good experience. See, building our character. So it is like a cricket match. If you go score good in the first innings, second innings will be easy for you. But in the first innings, if you are not scored good, second innings will be very difficult. Similarly, dear brother, in Christ's kingdom, those who are done good now, it will be very easy for them to come back in the resurrection and leave all the evil activities and walk near to God. But those who have committed more sin, it will be very difficult for them to leave and again turn back to God. But turning back to God and leaving those evil things is a chastisement for them. That itself is a judgment, dear brethren. That itself is a punishment. Imagine, see, we are all turned to Christ now. We are all not holy person. We are all not good person. We are all very, very, you see, uh, bad persons in the world. You see, once when we turn to God, when we understand His truth, we try to walk as per the truth. But what happened? Was it possible for us? Is it really possible? No. So many times we struggle, we fall, yet again we gain and work. But each and every time we think, Ayo, if I would have not uh, built such evil things in me, if I would have not built the evil character in me, it would have been easy now for me. Same way, dear brother, it will be for the whole world. But God will give them the grace to come back work perfectly. Hence, to do all these activities, thousand years is given. This is the judgment as per the Bible. Not literally standing before his throne, counting each, calling each every by name, tell him go left, go right. No. Okay? So, anybody has got any doubts, any questions? They can ask. Anybody, any questions? Peter, brother? Emmanuel brother, Saiji brother, Stephen brother,
Okay. So, no questions?